Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. This is your intuitively awakened starseed here with a message for the Collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, welcome. And thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. This is going to be a general message. It is for all zodiac signs, you guys. This is an intuitive love message, you guys. So as always, please remember to take only what resonates with you and leave the rest as this is for all zodiac signs, you guys. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, thank you guys so, so much for all of your support, your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm sending you love, light, gratitude, Palo Santo as well. Thank you for joining me on this journey of enlightenment and love. You guys, we're going to go ahead and hop in here, see what is going on for the collective. As always, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what the energy is surrounding your connection. We're also going to take a look at any blockages um, and your person's current intentions. And we're also going to take a look at what's ahead, okay? So, you guys, as always, please only take what resonates. Leave the rest. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, your future. He, she, him, her. People, places, things. Y'all, let's tap into the who, what when, where, and why, see what is going on for the collective, you guys. And when I refer to your person, this could be somebody you're in no contact with. It could be someone you're in um, separation with, or you could be in union with this person. So as always, please take it, flip it, switch the roles, as all readings won't resonate with everyone. You guys, let's go ahead and tap in here. Archangel Michael, please protect us during this message, during this reading. Any dark negative energy, please return to sender. And what is the message for the collective? Clean it up. Somebody's cleaning it up? Cleaning things up? Shoot, somebody could be cleaning up, right? Yeah. Something about cleaning your air, maybe it's time to cleanse your space, okay? Um, or cleaning the energy around you, taking a look at, or this could be someone, taking a look at the energy surrounding them, okay? Um, when you clean up, you find things too. Somebody could be finding out something. Hmm. What else we got? I'm seeing that something hidden or something somebody di didn't see or didn't want to see. Somebody could be finding out something. Mm. Please give us more for the collective. But I'm seeing somebody cleaning up, cleansing the energy surrounding them. What else we got? Confirmation. Okay. So I'm seeing truth be told, but also too, somebody is finding out the truth, the reality about something, right? So it could be shifting somebody's perspective. Okay. Somebody, how they perceive something. They're seeing things clearly. I'm seeing window. Okay. Cleaning windows, y'all. Windows, eyes, something like that. A window is representative of, you know, um, I'm getting, seeing something, the future, or, you know, the mask is off, okay? Or the illusions. Somebody's illusion has been shattered. Oh. Chaos conflict. Look at that. Somebody's illusion has been shattered. Oh, I'm getting some karmic energy here, right? Never-ending story. Why I just hear my heart belongs to you? I just heard that. Oh, somebody's finding out the truth about something, y'all. What else we got here? Please give us more for the collective or finding out they was delusional. One of the two. Okay, I'm seeing building blocks. Okay, I just seen that and somebody thinking about you. Somebody's deep in their thoughts about you. Okay. Hmm. 44 could be significant as well. The number four, please take it how it resonates. Wow. Chaos, conflict, somebody's thinking about you. 
somebody, I feel like there's some chaos, conflict, devastation concerning someone's emotions for you, Divine Feminine, okay? So it's like somebody could be cleaning up, cleaning out old energy, severing ties, something like that, right? What else we got for the collective? But there's chaos, conflict. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. You're being watched. You see that? You're being watched. Yes, somebody's thinking about you and you're being watched, all right? Yeah. This is somebody that, it's like I'm seeing by the book, right? Somebody establishing order, in their life. So again, with this cleaning it up, this could be somebody that's been fragmented, distorted, okay? Somebody's devastated over this or feeling foolish. I feel like this is karmic energy that I'm picking up on. There's a lot of like devastation. Um, somebody is like seeing that their illusion about this divine masculine is being shattered. That's what I'm getting. It's like they're looking into this mirror that's shards is what I'm getting. Something to do with being fragmented, but getting things in order. This divine masculine is getting things in order is what I'm getting. Or there's divine order happening, mending. This is someone you're in separation from or no contact with, divine feminine. Okay, this is something that's on the mend. I'm seeing something to do with bubbles. Somebody's bubble got bursted, right? This illusion is what I'm getting. Yeah, it shattered. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. See, a situation has come to the edge or someone has come to the edge, okay? <clears throat> wow. There is a shift. There is a shift here with someone's energy and you, Divine Feminine. Somebody is coming to the edge, but I feel like, and this is somebody that wants to mend they want to fix this. Now, you could be in union with somebody, and this is someone that is cleaning up because they realize whatever is going on, something is causing chaos, something is causing discord, whatever this is, they realize that it's not worth sacrificing. It's not worth the sacrifice or sacrificing your connection. It's not worth the risk, okay? Keeping something around. So it's something that, you know, needed their attention. That's what I'm getting. And they're cleaning this up. But in the interim, somebody is losing it. What else we got here? Please give us more. Okay, so match. Hmm. It may not seem like it, but this person does see you as their divine counterpart. Okay, a match. What else we got? Please give us more. For the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective and then yin. Look at this. Light and dark. <clears throat> Throat chakra. Yin and yang. Divine counterpart. This is somebody that does. They see you as their match. You could feel like this person maybe is not as invested or this person, you could feel as though this person's feelings aren't as deep as yours or something like that. Mm -mm, look at that. Mm -mm, this person is, this is your divine counterpart and they know it. That's why they're cleaning things up. So again, they're not sacrificing, they're not jeopardizing this connection, right? So I feel like somebody is finding out this person's heart belongs to you. Yeah. Wow. Somebody doesn't know what to do. It's like this karmic is losing it, feeling foolish, okay? It's like you may not know, but it's like 
it, I'm getting like this divine masculine behind the scenes. They talk about you a lot, but I feel like it's something about what this karmic has told people, okay? This karmic has told a lot of people like how this is going to play out or they've been, they were in like, they were delusional is what I'm getting. This person was really like telling people they're having a future with this divine masculine, things like that. Oh, they're finding out this person's heart belongs to you. It's always belonged to you. Mm -mm. Wow, karmic losing it. Mm. What else we got? Please give us more. What else we got for the collective, right? Huh, they imagine this. Whatever they've been telling people, I'm getting is imagined. Mm-hmm. You could be hearing rumors, right? These are things that this person has made up is what I'm getting. I'm seeing regeneration. This divine masculine is focused on you. If you're in union with this person, separated, no contact. Again, please take it how it resonates, okay? This is somebody that's finding their way to peace, okay? With you, balance. They're finding their way to peace, finding their way to balance, finding their way to grounding with you, okay? Um, I'm getting, you know... This is a destined connection. This person realizes that, okay, once in a lifetime, once in a lifetime type of connection that they share with you. So either they want a new beginning and I feel like that heavy energy on that. Even if you guys are in union, it's like this person is in the energy of wait, let's start over again because they don't want you to see them in this light and they're cleaning it up. This could be energies around, in, around them or surrounding them. Where did that come from? Okay. Yeah, but it's like they're cleaning up their appearance, like how they appear to you, right? Or what they're projecting. So what's being projected with them or something like that, they're like cleaning that up. And I feel like, you know, you're going to be shocked, surprised, even if there's been like a tower moment, I'm getting, you could have walked away for some of you guys, or this person does feel you pulling your energy back. Okay. Yeah. And this person feels like your feelings being, or your feelings dissipating, right? Decreasing those emotions. They feel like you're pulling your energy away from them. This person, uh-uh. This is a never-ending story. Hmm. Soul connection. Let's go. Somebody got cut off. Chop wood. Somebody got cut off. Mm-hmm. Somebody got cut off. Yeah. This person. And it's like it's in this karmic's face though right something in their face they're devastated it's like they're feeling foolish in front of people karma karma playing out here okay yes i'm getting karma playing out this divine masculine knows what they got with you they know that this is a very special rare connection and it's like nobody is worth Nobody is worth losing you. And this karmic found out that this they were this was an illusion. But it's like I'm getting karma playing out. This is somebody that's been playing in the Savai Masculine's energy or something like that. But they got cut off. Ooh. They got cut off. It could be multiples, right? These manipulative energies, right? Mischievous, mental, like meddling, okay? Meddling energies, meddlesome, something like that. Child, your aura, this is something they never felt. Your aura is like, you know, stepping into a different dimension. 
a different timeline, which essentially that's what's happening here is this person is jumping timelines, right? Because there's ascension, there's growth with these connections, right? You challenge each other with the twin flame connection to, you know, be the best version of yourself. Yeah. So it's like this person is in a whole new different dimension with you. All right. Yes. Wow. Something about at a crossroads. This is elevation, evolving, ascension going on with this divine masculine. Okay. Mm hmm. And even if you don't think it, they're, they're fully present. They are, they're fully present. Okay. Yes, there is a message in the bottle. Y'all read in between the lines. I always say that. Tap into your higher self so that you can see the bigger picture because this is a never-ending story. Please give us more. Mm -hmm. Please give us more for the collective, right? Oh, they already know this. All the glitters is not gold. It's not even hard for them to make these adjustments, right? It's hard on these karmics or this one karmic in particular because somebody's been out here saying that they have a future. Now you could be hearing that this divine masculine is still in contact or is still involved with somebody or is involved with someone else. Again, tap into your higher self. Okay, because I feel like this is like some type of sudden awakening or a sudden shift with this karmic. Okay, they're spiraling. Somebody is spiraling out of control and I feel like there's rumors. Wow. Something to do with rumors. What else we got? Please give us more. Oh, okay. Somebody's ready to go the distance. I'm seeing, ooh, a leap of faith. So it's like going to the next level. Ready to go the distance, taking things to the next level, okay? So if you're in separation, no contact, somebody taking a leap of faith, okay? Or this could be somebody you're in union with currently. They want to take things to the next level, that could be somebody you're in no contact with as well. They want to take things to the next level, you guys. Yeah. Wow. And this karmic, I feel like definitely I'm getting shadows. Something like still lurking. Yeah. Because it's like they're very, I'm getting devastated. Karma playing out. Very manipulative, okay? Still, you know... This is why masculine knows your home. And this karmic sees that. Who? Somebody doesn't want to accept this or something like that. But um, they don't have a choice. They don't have a choice. Yeah, they're part of, I'm getting like the cleanup crew came through. Even though you feel like maybe the divine masculine wasn't paying attention, okay, you could have said like, you know, you're not comfortable with certain energies around or you could have been questioning the presence of certain energies, these karmics in this person's life. And I feel like, you know, it all picked up once you came into the divine masculine's life as well, you know, all of a sudden... Yeah, because this by masculine was locked into you. Is, was, is, still. Yeah, even in separation. So it's like, wait a minute. These people are realizing these karmics or this karmic was realizing, wait a minute. This divine masculine's definitely formed an attachment with this divine feminine. Whoa. So I feel like not only... Are they around, but it picked up when you were around. So it was like, okay, wait a minute. What's going on here type of energy? Okay. And I feel like you were like, okay, you could have brought this up. Maybe this divine masculine, maybe you didn't feel like they were paying attention or they weren't addressing it. 
And maybe they weren't because it didn't matter to them. But once they felt your energy shifting, that's what did matter. So now it's like time for them to take a closer look, take a second look at what's going on here and clean up that energy. That's why clean up came out from the very beginning. Yep. Any rumors, anything you're hearing about this divine masculine tap into your higher self, you guys. Yes, because this is a destined connection, okay? Wow. Again, clean, cleaning, make sure that you are, I'm getting cleaning your space, cleansing your space. So I'm getting sage, I'm getting Palo Santo, I'm getting, you know, just cleansing the space around you, all right? And I'm seeing here, Knowing that this person is loyal. So with a deep soul connection, your souls know each other, okay? So keep in mind, whatever is coming out, whatever you're hearing, even in the past, right? Yeah, when this started, I'm getting, keep in mind, you know this person. Your souls, you know this person. This is a divine connection, okay? So you're meeting each other or coming together here in this in this physical realm, okay, you're getting, like, this is new, but your souls, y'all knew each other, so you know this person, and their heart belongs to you, okay, mm. see these surface level connections, this karmic, they want to share this deep soul connection, right, but they're not a soul, they're not this person's soul partner, they're not this person's divine soul partner, Okay, their divine counterpart. They can't share this connection. That's for you and this person. Now I'm getting there is a karma out here losing it because they're finding that out. Mm. They're finding that out. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. Ooh. Somebody's losing sleep. Somebody is losing sleep. Yes. Because this change is in the wind or a change has already happened because of this shift. Look at this. Somebody's built with you. So you could be in union and have some doubts. Or this could be, you know, you could have some speculation, some type of doubts. Or this could be somebody you're in separation with. But I'm getting either way. This is someone that wants to build with you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. I'm seeing something to do with community. All right. So something to do with community. That could be what has been communicated to the outside world. Yeah. By this karmic. It's not aligning with what this divine masculine is doing. So I do see people starting to side eye. This karmic, because they could be out here playing victim as well, trying to save face, okay? This person I'm getting is feeling foolish. They are embarrassed, this karmic, because they've been putting out one narrative and this divine masculine is coming through and cleaning up house. So there's a whole other side of this being presented. So people's like, so what you talking about? Because this divine masculine look like they done cut you off and a lot of other people too. This divine masculine shifting. Yeah. Did we see in a different version? So that I feel like people's like, what you seeing? Because we don't see what you seeing. Karmic embarrassed. So there could be, I'm getting like that narrative being put out there that, you know, this divine masculine, this divine masculine, um, possibly was seeing you on the side or something like that, trying to twist the narrative, right? Because they're embarrassed. Karma is being handed out here, okay? Low-key, devastated, right? Behind the scenes, okay? Their devastation is coming from their own illusions being shattered. They made this up. They made it up, y'all. Oh, I'm getting why they do that. I'm seeing why and I'm seeing peace, okay? So why and peace. 
that could be somebody saying it, saying that to this karmic. Like, why are you trying to disrupt somebody's peace? It looked like you over here being messy. So somebody could be calling this karmic on this. And they're trying to save face. They're embarrassed, feeling foolish, ashamed. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Ciao. What else we got? Because this person, it appears people are seeing this person's loyal to you. If you're in separation, that's hmm. TikTok. The clock's running down on that. Clock that T, right? Karmic out here embarrassed. Round and round. So this could be something that, you know, you were trying to address with this divine masculine at some point, divine feminine. And it was like going round and round. You could have pulled your energy back. Like, okay, if you want to be messy, you know, you're not going to sit in that energy, something like that. Or again, this could be somebody that feels you pulling your energy back, right? This person's not losing you. Uh-uh. No. What else we got here? 1010 on the timer. Something coming to an end. Transformational time, right? Your aura. It's your aura. Yeah. And there's a major shift happening. Okay. But I feel like this karmic is like perpetuating something or giving or projecting a different narrative. Yeah, they're what they're projecting, it's not this isn't they're projecting a whole other illusion. Okay, a whole other, <clears throat> they don't want this coming out. They out here projecting a whole new reality, twisting the reality. Yeah. Hmm. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective. This is an unfinished symphony. Okay. This is somebody that wants to work this out. Okay. Okay. Or this is somebody that is definitely putting in the effort. Again, they don't want to sacrifice this connection or you by any of this low vibrational energy. This is a pick me, okay? This is somebody that is playing victim, but also trying to get a leg up. But they want people, they want to know more about you, okay? So something about gathering information to manipulate, but then I'm seeing here between worlds, okay? Mm. They want people to think that this divine masculine like cheated on them with you. This is the narrative or that this divine masculine was in between worlds, like in between, yeah, being a player or playing on you. So this way, it's like you're going to look at this divine masculine a different way. But I feel like people are um, starting to side-eye this karmic. But they're very manipulative, quite creative when it comes to these illusions. Very, a lot of manipulation. Mm-hmm. Trying to create doubt. Trying to establish some type of doubt is what I'm getting here. Okay. What else we got? Please give us more. Okay, but this, you know, if this is a separation, this was not this divine masculine's intention. So I want to, you know, put that out there. Um, I feel like this divine masculine never thought that you would walk away or pull your energy back. They didn't realize how profound this effect affected you, but it does matter to them. This divine masculine is seeing that, okay? And something, you know, somebody could have been giving this divine masculine a leg up. Somebody in the community about the gossip that's been going on, okay? Yeah. Or it's like somebody maybe pulled this divine masculine's coat, like low-key gave them some type of tea. Like, you know, you, somebody's messing this up for you. And I feel like, you know, it just like corroborated with what you were saying. You know, it corroborated, you know, it wasn't like you were being overreactive. So I feel like somebody else may have brought something concerning rumors or false narratives. And this divine masculine is like, oh, so they see like a plot twist or what this karmic is doing to cause 
you to walk away. This is my masculine's never been happier. With this deep connection, could be a soulmate. You guys, this could be a soulmate, but they said, okay, it's time for this karmic to go. Time for karmic to go, all right? Deep knowing, deep understanding for what's going on. So that's where, okay, that's where they're like, okay, we cleaning up. This divine masculine is like, we clean and house, we clean and up. These energies surrounding this connection. Yes, they're not letting anything jeopardize this. Okay, I see it. And they're definitely watching you, but I feel like Karmic's watching you too, trying to get a leg up like, what is it about Divine Feminine, okay? Trying to see what it is that you're doing. <sighs> no autonomy, right? This is just copycat, shape-shifting, no depth with this person, all right? Yeah. Wow, yin and yang energy. This is by masculine. Their soul recognizes you. They know who you are. Confirmation, truth be told, period. Period, yes. Y'all, let's get some more cards here. And I feel like even if you're in union with this person, they're still trying to mend things, right? Or they don't want you to end up walking away right? They feel your energy shifting away from them. And this person, they can't have that. They're not having it. They can't, they won't. Mm -mm. So it's like they're trying to provide clarity or you're going to notice, right? A shift because look, whatever it is that is causing you to not trust them or something like that, this person, huh? It's like they taking the bull by the horns. They're being very proactive when it comes to this connection with you, okay? Yes. You guys, let's get some more. Mm, that's the energy surrounding your connection though, right? I feel like, you know, there's speculation with you as you pulling your energy back or there could be a separation, a no contact type of, mm-hmm. Let's get some more. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Spirit, please give us more. And you may feel like this Divine Masculine is not taking your emotions or feelings seriously. Oh, they are. Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Yeah, they are. You're going to see a shift in the energy surrounding them. Something to do with an uninvited guest. This could be this divine masculine coming towards you. Or this could have been this karmic coming towards this divine masculine. They got to check the moment of decision, a big change, okay? Or they got a surprise coming towards this divine masculine. Now, there could have been somebody that came to this divine masculine's house. And that's what caused a firestorm between you guys. That's for some of you guys. I just got that. Yeah, this could have been an ex that popped up at this Divine Masculine's home, okay? And it's like, kind of like, you didn't need nothing else, right? You seen all you needed to see, but child, I'm getting it. That was something that was an illusion. This person truly never expected this, right? This was something that happened out of the blue, right? So that's where I'm getting somebody could really be going off about that, right? Because it's like the way they did things, it's very difficult for them to <clears throat> explain things. Somebody don't want this coming out throat chakra. Every time I go in and reveal something about this karmic throat chakra. Mm-hmm. They popped up. And it's like, why do they still feel comfortable popping up at this divine masculine's house? I'm feeling like, or home or wherever they reside. Could be their family's house. It's like, why are they still popping up? Why do they still feel comfortable enough, right? Child, they don't. I feel like everybody's confused. Like, hey, what's going on? Why, what made you stop by? 
but that's not what you're getting. All you know is that there's this uninvited guest or they're popping up. That's for some of you guys, right? Oh, they know how to make it look good. They making it look real good, right? Yeah, pop up surprise visit. But I feel like, oh, boom, heart belongs to you. Key to your heart, right? You have the key to this person's heart, okay? And getting to the core of what is going on. Oh. Mm. This person's heart belongs to you now. They they popped up for some of you guys again and they got a surprise. See? The, all of this started when you came into this divine masculine's life. This person started doing these extreme measures because they felt as though they were being forgotten, right? Okay, quiet as it's kept, They that was an illusion that they were ever in this divine masculine's um, present. They were never were, right? It was never like that. It was never that serious. It wasn't, okay? Somebody wants to apologize, okay? This divine masculine wants to apologize. You're getting an apology coming in from this divine masculine, okay? And I'm getting here home. So something like home, or there's an unspoken apology. You're going to be able to see it in this person's eyes. They don't want to hurt you, okay? They do not want to hurt you, divine feminine. Mm -mm. You're home to this person. They would not jeopardize again or sacrifice this connection. And this person's finding out the hard way, right? Karma's playing out. See, they was over here being manipulative. And for some of you guys popping up even at the family's house or using like a family member as like, oh, you know, we friends, we go back, right? Like, yeah. Attaching themselves to family, right? See, I, I'm seeing trash. This divine masculine, worthless type of energy is what I'm getting. This divine masculine doesn't see them the way they're projecting this, okay? The way they're projecting to the outside world. This was not even what was happening prior to you coming in this divine masculine's life. Come through. But I'm getting they were putting more effort into it, right? Keeping being in this divine masculine's presence or the, their family, friends, things like that. They just keep showing up, right? It's that energy. They just keep showing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trying to get this divine masculine to take the bait. There's the apple. You the apple at AI though, right? Yeah. But I'm getting here. They're trying to get this divine masculine to take the bait. Some type of seductive energy. Trying to, you know, get them locked in. Loyalty. I'm seeing loyalty with you, okay? Also, too, pay attention. Animal spirit guides. You're protected. Somebody got a cat. Mm-hmm. Somebody has a cat. Your intuition. Follow your intuition. Some of you guys, it's like, okay. This is really not making sense. This is really not making sense. It's not adding up. Right? Hmm. For some of you guys, there could be a karmic family member that likes to see this chaos, okay? That's allowing this to play out too with this divine masculine. I am picking up on that energy as well. Truth, confirmation, Libra energy, okay? So I'm getting here truth, but this divine masculine, you guys being in balance with you is this divine masculine's primary focus, okay? They standing on business. They created boundaries and they're not bending. Mm-hmm. Somebody feels like a whole clown here. You see that? Somebody feeling like a clown. Somebody feeling foolish. Everything is playing out though, right? The way that I'm getting divine timing is at play here, okay? So you see that? Okay, so divine timing, I'm getting everything is 
playing out the way it's supposed to, okay? Something to do with an encounter. And then the next card is reconcile, okay? So I'm seeing a reconcile or mending, clearing the air, doubts, right? Now I'm seeing something to do with a photograph, but I'm getting a romantic encounter, okay? Between you and Divine Masculine, reconciliation, right? Somebody posted a picture or will be posting a picture. This is you or your divine masculine. That's what I'm getting. This person is going to see this reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be posting this you or your person to social media. Uh -huh. Wow. Something about this third party I'm getting here. Okay and letting go, not letting go, something like that, okay? Or them being released. So they're going to even get more confirmation, something about pictures. Now, this could be someone else that's going to be posting a picture. You and the Sabai Masculine could be taking a photograph together, okay? Something to do with taking a photograph together. Somebody could be posting pictures of you guys, right? And this third party is going to be seeing it because they operate behind the scenes. I'm getting um, fake profiles, fake accounts, okay? What else we got? Please give us more. This Divine Masculine was never invested in them. Mm -mm. They were never invested in this karmic, Okay. This is all an illusion. This is all a facade. Yeah. And they're hoping for a miraculous turnaround with this divine masculine. Follow your intuition. This, this is somebody, it's like they keep returning. But this divine masculine, they were never invested in this person. Uh-uh. Nope. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. Oh. If you're separated, somebody missing you. You see that? The divine masculine is missing you. And here's the snake energy. Okay? Trying to seize the moment. They're trying to seize the moment. But this is somebody, again, the divine masculine was not invested in. They keep returning back to the divine masculine's life is what I'm getting. Walking in and out of the divine masculine's life trying to set traps. I'm seeing here snake energy. And then I'm also getting here taboo. Okay. Yeah. So something to do with them trying to seize the moment during the separation. But again, this divine masculine created boundaries. So if you're hearing like, oh, there was something going on with this divine masculine while you were with them or, you know, during separation or something like that. This is somebody that's trying to make it appear that way, okay? This is somebody really good creating illusions. Mm-hmm. Please give us more for the collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Ooh, I'm seeing here coercion, trying to coerce somebody to do something here. Yeah. Somebody moving in silence, but this divine masculine got a hint, so they found out. This person is constantly messaging this divine masculine as well. Mm-hmm. Your intuition could be picking up on that. I feel like your intuitions are picking, your intuition is picking up on this karmic's motives but it's like they're embarrassed playing the victim oh the sabai masculine did them wrong type of energy mm -mm. no not at all okay not at all it was never that serious people side-eyeing them hidden truth is coming out change look at that 
They investigating you. They done opened up a whole investigation. Okay? Trying to look. They Child, they even want to know about your finances. Like, what? Like, what? They trying to find out what you do or something like that? What you do for a living? What you, how? They want to know everything about you. And it's like, for what? Because this is my masculine. They don't want them. And I'm seeing transformation. They're moving on from, this divine masculine is no longer even attached to certain energies surrounding them as well. A transformation, okay? Transformation. This is your time. This is your person. Divine intervention. Come through, spirit. Yeah. And if you're in separation, unfinished business. Huh. I do mean unfinished business. Okay. A commitment. A promise. Somebody making a promise, an oath. Or this is something that they promised themselves, right? When it comes to you being commitment, be, being committed, being loyal, okay? And it's like there's a mystery, like who are you with this karmic? You're this divine masculine's divine counterpart. Mm-hmm. And they know it by how you love on them or how you loved on them in the past. Your patience, your empathy, right? You were chosen for them, handpicked, handcrafted, and chosen for this divine masculine. It don't get no better than this, right? Yeah. Wow. Okay. They put an end to it. They did, or they will be. Mm -hmm. What else we got? Let's get some more for the collective, okay? Because I'm getting like... For some of you guys, again, this isn't some type of uninvited guest popping up, okay? Some mysterious energy around the Sabai Masculine made you, gave you like speculation, but I'm getting ascension. The Sabai Masculine leveling up in your energy, come through, yeah. Let's get some um, astrology here. See what we get for the collective. Try and tie this in for some of you guys. Now, again, this is for all zodiac signs. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, okay, Mars, Mercury, all of that, right? But we're going to go ahead and see what we get. Chiron, okay? To tie this in, you guys, please make sure you're checking your birth chart, your natal chart, so that you get the most from your readings. And Spirit, please give us more for the collective. What is it that the collective needs to know concerning their reading? Okay. Oh, we got Aquarius, Aquarius energy and the moon. So Aquarius energy, that cutoff is unparalleled. Okay. So that's why this person is shook. I'm getting the delivery alone when it comes to this divine masculine Venus energy showing up. So what they thought this was, regardless of what happened in the past, what they thought this was, it's not that. It's not that. I'm getting that in these energies. These are my masculines, clear boundaries, right? You know what? It's like the times. I'm hearing like something to do with the times. You know, it's like you're lucky to find someone that is, you know, true. Like I'm getting loyal to your divine counterpart. That is a blessing, right? And it's especially, you know, I'm getting like this, how this divine masculine, it's like, they feel like, you know, they've never had this. They realize they found a good thing with you, divine feminine, and they take an action, come through. Mars energy here, okay? Driven. This person is driven, okay? When it comes to you, right? Right? Yeah, deep emotions, somebody that possesses depth, everything I'm getting this divine masculine has come in contact with. It's been that superficial level, but again, it's like there's a lot of attraction 
This Divine Masculine is very attracted to you, Divine Feminine, is what I'm getting. Ooh. Duality. A different side has emerged. Gemini energy. Mm. A different side of this Divine Masculine has emerged, okay? Chiron energy. More powerful than you know, okay? More powerful than you know. We have Aquarius and Gemini, and then we do have the moon card. We have Mars, we have Venus, and we have Chiron and Gemini and Aquarius, okay? And then we have a major focus, right? There it is, the seventh house, a focus on long-term connections, okay? Significant partners, okay? Yeah, a profound effect on that. This person sees you as an absolute goddess. Here it is. And karmic needs to know why. Karmic's trying to know what they need to do. What do they need to do to get this divine masculine to look at them the way that they look at you? There's nothing they can do because there's a deeper level. So it doesn't matter what they... I'm getting adorn themselves with. So it's like adorning themselves with clothing, the jewelry, maybe, you know, how you wear your hair. You know, it's just like, no. It's like that doesn't, it's not going to change anything because it's deeper than that, right? Yeah, it's deeper than that, okay? Taurus energy, this divine masculine, very, I'm getting not letting up. So we have Taurus and we have Pluto, okay? Ooh. Transformation. So I feel like that shape-shifting energy, again, adorning, but it's like with this divine masculine, I'm getting... You don't have to do nothing. And they just want to love you. Ooh. Just be you. Taking a big leap forward. Heavy energy. Rebirth, okay? They're not letting up. Mm-mm. Low key. You see that? Possessive. Secretive. Low key. All right? Intense emotions. But I feel like how this divine masculine is reacting. You're, you know, if you doubted their emotions or how they feel, you're not going to doubt that. Because once you see how they have handled these situations or handled this karmic or something like that. You're going to see, right? Like you may have felt as though they mishandled you. No, they didn't. Mm-mm. No, they didn't. Intense emotions. Taking care of a situation. Okay. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. Neptune energy. See this karmic. Delusional. Their illusions are shattered. Okay. They're out here embarrassed. They're devastated. Okay. They done told everybody they taking it to the next level. No, the fantasy is with you, this divine masculine. You're everything they imagine, this rare connection. I'm seeing mermaid, utopia, unicorn, okay? You're like their fantasy come true, come through. That's why I was getting like, You don't have to do anything. Just be you. Oof. Ciao. Mmm. What people see and the impression that you give, you attract a lot of attention. First house. Okay. But I feel like this is speaking to also the depth, right? So there's more depth to you. So you attract a lot of attention. But I'm getting here... There's so much more to you when it comes to this divine masculine, right? 
because there's worlds, there's universes that are locked away within each other when it comes to you guys that only you have access to. Only you have access to that deeper level, okay? Within one another, there's that mirroring energy. So, this Divine Masculine does feel the same way you feel. Divine Feminine, I'm getting mirroring that energy, okay? Yes, mm-hmm, yes, and yes, right? Okay. Somebody is accepting the challenge to rebuild this connection, to bridge the gap, okay? Yeah, whatever void there is, they put in the work. Capricorn energy, very honest is what I'm getting. Loyal, okay? And ambitious, I'm getting, wow, cancer energy, emotionally sensitive, loving, oh, you don't have to do nothing but just be you, child, hmm, let's get some more, let's get some tarot, y'all, yeah, Let's get some tarot for the collective. Y'all. Mmm. This person is like mesmerized. I'm getting like surface level, your beauty, and what's beneath the surface. Somebody feels like you got them under a spell, a hex, a curse, or something like that. That's what this divine masculine feeling. Yeah. Or like, this could be with people on the outside or this karmic, they could be saying, like trying to put that out there, that like you've done something to get this divine masculine locked into you. That's why this divine masculine, you know, um, has been disloyal. Meanwhile, this divine masculine ain't even involved. Yeah, they're out here telling people that the divine masculine was disloyal with them, with you. Oh my gosh. Talking about twisting a narrative. Ooh. Yeah, please give us more. Please give us more for the collective. Yeah, they're projecting something else to the outside world. I'm getting a soul activation, okay? Please give us more for the collective. What's the outcome? What is it that the collective needs to know, Spirit? Please give us more. New beginning, come through. New beginning. Trust, okay? What else we got? Please give us more. Somebody losing it. I told you devastated because of this new beginning or this divine masculine being reactive or being proactive. Okay. Dispelling any of these illusions. Dispelling like any type of plot. Okay. Right. I feel like something, it was like slow to come around. That could be why you guys are in separation, I feel like the Sabine Masculine didn't take this, this part seriously, but they putting it to rest because the love is real. Aquarius energy, okay? Aquarius energy, true love, a shift with this person, okay? So a shift with this Sabine Masculine. Ooh, eternal and infinite love. But I feel like I'm seeing strength strength okay or maybe you didn't feel like this divine masculine was strong enough to make these adjustments or to put you first maybe you didn't feel like this divine masculine was strong enough to put you first divine feminine leo energy ciao it's because they wasn't giving it their attention strength wasn't even mm -mm. that wasn't an issue Karmic finding that out as well. Yeah. Look at this. Wow. That's what your intuition was picking up on. Hidden energy. This also speaks to somebody that could be unhinged, right? We got that Pisces energy. This love was true. It was real. They weren't even paying it attention. They weren't giving it any energy, right? Until they realized how it affected you. So it wasn't about strength. They didn't even care. That's like no problem. 
Okay? You want that I, you want that energy gone? No problem. It's gone. What else you want, boo? <laughs> Type of energy. Like, this wasn't, it wasn't like the Sublime Masculine wasn't strong enough. It was like they didn't even see it. It was like, it wasn't that it was hidden. It just wasn't something that was, you know, this Divine Masculine wasn't thinking about these karmics or karmic energy. Mm -mm. Please give us more for the collective Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. See? That's what I'm getting. You're protected, but there's some sneaky energy. That's a karmic. I'm getting a sneaky energy surrounding this connection. This is a protected connection, you guys, right? This is what caused the tower moment. This divine masculine is not playing about you. You see that? They are very much attached to you. And somebody done got sent on the way. Surely did. No contact. Don't come around here. Stop coming to my home type of energy. Yeah. Like, you don't need to be reaching out to my family. Like, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Let me redirect you. But this is not the reaction that they expected. <laughs> they were living in a fantasy. This divine masculine popped that bubble. Clocked that tea, too, is what I'm getting. Oh, what else we got? Come through. Ugh. That's what I keep hearing. Like, what are you doing? Like, why are you coming here? So I feel like that's kind of like the tone with the Sabai masculine. Like, I'm I'm just I'm forewarning you before, you know. Like, I kind of like, you know, you get your feelings hurt here. Yeah. Because it's like you, you've been doing this, okay, for this divine masculine that you're in separation from. This divine masculine's in their head like, yo, like, okay, karma keeps doing this, being messy, right? Got you in the queen of swords energy. They don't want you to feel like that. Got you pulling your energy back. This divine masculine, try, look, getting back on the right track with you, okay? Somebody, look, anxiety, deep despair, Deep despair, okay? Because you the one, not the two. Yeah, you are the one. Gemini energy showing up again, okay? See? Look at this. What was hidden? This is what you don't see. This divine masculine is not accepting love offers from them or nobody else. Uh-uh. Wow. You about to see, right? If you didn't think they cared, you about to find out. They've been handling it. They've been, yeah, taking care of business is what I'm getting. You're about to get a new perspective on this connection. On this divine masculine. Because like I said, they didn't need courage. They just wasn't paying it no attention. It's like, yeah, what you want? I feel like this person, something about spoiling you too. So it's like what you want, you got it, whatever you want. <laughs> and then I seen King of Pentacles. What's up here? This divine masculine. Oh. 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 King of Pentacles and I got the Queen of Cups. You see that? That healing, loving, nurturing energy. And this divine masculine wants to reciprocate. They want to show you. They're like, oh, divine feminine didn't realize how much I cared. So you want to know, you about to find out. This is like King of Pentacles, very stable. Okay. They love how you love them. They love how you are with them. Look at this. Action. Hmm. King of Wands and King of Pentacles. You about to find out. Balance. If you didn't think that they were truly locked into you, if you don't know, you about to know. Mm-hmm. Libra energy. 
You're about to see the hidden truth. Rumors, lies circulating. That ain't what happened. Facts is getting ready to be presented. See, you different. This is deeper than the surface. This is not no surface level connection, okay? They wanted depth and they got depth. They see the value. You see the pinnacles is beneath the surface. The true value is beneath the surface. New cycle beginning. But I feel like the new cycle is beginning is with this messy karma. Yeah. Because you mean the world to this divine masculine and that's what they finding out. And they out here devastated, feeling foolish, embarrassed, trying to play the victim. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they trying to play the victim, okay? Wow. The new beginning, angel number 1010 is significant here, okay? Yeah, because they seen a different side, that Gemini energy duality with the Sublime Masculine, seeing a different side, right? Yeah. Gemini is representative of, you know, duality. And I feel like this Sublime Masculine is very sociable, keeping things light, sweet, you know, type of energy. But because they didn't give it attention, they thought they had room to play. They ain't got no room to play. Not when it comes to a shift in your emotions. Mm. Aquarius energy. Look at that. I'm seeing true love, but I'm also seeing here... I'm getting Aquarius, so follow your intuition, okay? And it's like somebody don't know what to do. Somebody does not know what to do, right? This divine masculine is let me show you, period. You see that? And that's divine masculine energy, all right? Taking action to show you better. Okay, they can show you better than they can tell you. And I'm seeing better days ahead, taking action. Yes. Somebody is in deep despair. They embarrassed because guess who? The focus is on you, the queen of pentacles. It, it never wasn't on you. So there was a lot of illusions. It never wasn't on you. It's always been on you with the Sublime Masculine. Like I said, the strength, they didn't need it. Right? They didn't need to garner strength to sever ties. Mm -mm. They just wasn't giving it their attention. Their focus was on you. So proud of having you, Leo, energy. Somebody could have Leo energy in their chart. Karmic behind the scenes, losing it. Deep despair. You see that? Because the Sublime Masculine is moving forward. Angel number 1111. Mm -hmm. Clarity. You about to get clarity? Okay. Angel number 1111. Harmony. There's a ceremony. And look what was right behind it. The Hierophant. Okay. So we got the Hierophant card. Hierophant is definitely giving someone with a deep spiritual knowing. And someone that is commitment minded. When it comes to you, Divine Feminine, when it comes to you, mm, come through, Spirit. Past life connection. See, they wasn't even paying attention to this karmic, right? The focus was on you. They had blinders on. Focus is on you, Divine Feminine, the Empress, the Alchemist, the Healer, the light worker, the Chosen One. Mm-hmm. That past life connection, I told you. You guys share a deeper connection, all right, at the soul level. This goes beyond the surface level, okay? And this is someone rebuilding. I'm getting victory. <coughs> Somebody is irritated. Throat chakra. They don't want you to get this clarity. The victory is yours. The victory belongs to you, Empress. Look, your emperor, this is your emperor. The victory is yours, the Empress. You see that? Divine connection, two of cups. 
This is a divine connection. Look at that, you guys. Y'all, I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. And I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love you. Bye.